All right, hello and welcome to my Blender custom track tutorial. This Blender is not going to be the main focus. I will give you some tools needed for custom track creation. However, this is not going to be a full guide into Blender. Um, just enough to get the basics maybe of the process of what you do for tracks. So to start off with, I middle mouse to look around shift middle mouse to also look around and scroll in and scroll out to look around more and we're going to box select our objects and delete them presumably your default camera cube and uh, light source and shift a to add an object we are going to oop, add a mesh or sorry or mesh plane shift a curve and I like Bezier curves, so we're going to scale this curve up. Um, with this selected, tab to go into edit mode, select this, E to extrude, R to rotate, S to scale, E to extrude, R to rotate, S to scale. And I went and I clicked this gizmo to go up here, so I'm in top view. This is also number pad 7 but number pad doesn't exactly work for my laptop, even though I have edit preferences, I have my input keyboard, emulate numpad, I have that enabled. It does not like me for whatever reason. So I'm going to just, just do some stuff here. And sure, that's a wonderful track. And now let's add some height, maybe GZ. So G is to grab and then X to lock it to an axis, GY, GZ. Um, I'm adding GZ for height. You can also do R for rotate, RX to rotate along the X axis, RY for the Y, and RZ for the Z. Um, I'm going to add some height here. You can also tilt your curve, control T, which you can't see right now. Um, so let's, let's add a plane to this curve. So I'm going to add some modifiers. So go to the modifier tab with this plane selected, add modifier, array, we're going to up the count, add modifier, curve, snap it to our Bezier curve, which we have selected, and let's get it close here. And then let's now try our tilt and seeing that. So I can select this and control T and you can see it is bending our bending our track. So let's let's do something here. Um, don't go too crazy on this, but it is what it is. And now let's call that good. So we're going to well, actually no, let's not call that good. That's horrible. So oh, sorry. Control Z. I accidentally Control T to triangulate. Um, control to Z to undo, Control R to add a loop cut. It's going down the center. I can add more. Sorry, let me get a better view of this. Control R to add a loop cut. Uh, scroll your mouse wheel up to add more. And left click to confirm once. You can drag along here and right click to just place them where they are. So now when we tab out again, we have a better segment of road. And actually, let me add some two loop cuts. Uh, this direction so that we have more segments to our road so it's smoother. And now, uh, let me just, uh, oop, right, so we now need to apply our modifiers. So applying modifiers is a destructive process, so generally you want to delay this as long as possible. As soon as we apply these modifiers, our curve that we can edit with nicely um, and our track reacts accordingly. Um, once we apply our modifiers, this curve isn't going to do anything, but I'm happy with this track layout right now. So I'm going to apply and I'm going to apply. And now you can see going into edit mode by pressing tab, sorry, um, G to move our, our curve isn't modifying our plane anymore. So with the curve selected, I'm hitting X to delete. And now we have this this uh, gap here. And so I'm going to select this, hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to uh, M to merge as center. 
m to merge at center m to merge at center and m to merge at center obviously i'm box selecting clicking and dragging and i'm selecting more so that's cool and now maybe we we'll want maybe we want our uh, track to be shaded so we'll go into shading we're going to add a new material shift a in this is to add and we're going to you can add something in here you can either click in the search panel or you can shift a s and that brings it up just the same and i'm going to type image texture okay enter to okay open and browse to whatever texture you want let's see what what do i want so i'm going to go i know what i want textures um no i don't what i want i don't know what i want let's let's find something that we like so there are some i i'm going to have my track pack or my texture pack down in the description i sorry it's not mine it's mainly taco josh's um, though I have added some other textures as well, which is very helpful for making a track that you have uh, like good quality, but not too high quality, um, not too high detail texture for Mario Kart Wii, as only certain types of textures like to load. Um, okay, so, uh, sorry, it's in Blender Projects, Custom Tracks, and I, I'm going to use... Um, which ones do I want? Mm, as you can see, here's my first tutorial track that I gave up on. So let's let's use let's use this texture. This is Dry Dry Runes texture. If you don't have copies of Mario Kart Wii, um, or sorry, if you to get the course files, which you can find all the Mario Kart Wii course textures. Um, the wiki does a good job of explaining that. Um, the main thing, once you do have it, um, you can, using the program that I put in the description, SES Tools, um, Tools, uh, you can do, open up the command prompt, and then you can just do WSCST XALL and just drag and drop your we.scs file in here um, so maybe let me just explain that here um, custom tracks sorry for the noise around here um, maybe sand course and I have my SES file on here snad course and we can then just drag and drop in here and then it will extract everything and then it opens up in here and you can find the or opens up in here and then you can find course models and textures and then you can find all the textures that Mario Kart Wii uses. So with that I'm going to use this Drider Runes texture. I'm going to plug the color into the color and it just works. Um, now if if, say, your texture uh, AAR90 came in looking like this, where, in fact, it's rotated the wrong way from where you want, you can tab to go into edit mode, A to select everything, A to select everything on here, and then R, and then you can just type in 90, and that will rotate your UVs. Um, which is why we're in the UV editing tab. So going back out to layout, cool, we have we have a track. Um, we could just have this track, um, but that's not very exciting. Um, but that's about, that's almost all we're going to do. So I did shift right click to move this 3D cursor. It's not really necessary. Shift A to add an object. We're going to add a mesh and we're going to add our monkey, Suzanne. GZ and S to scale, and we might uh, RZ to rotate around the Z axis, GX, and then let's uh, go into top view, Shift D to duplicate, 
click over here and the RZ180. And now we have our two monkeys here. Maybe bring them down some as well. And so you can, our uh, Triss count is over here, uh, 3000. And I forget, I think I had to enable some preference to uh, um, then see, uh, well, you should first system increase your undo steps. Uh, so you should do that. Um, but I had to change somewhere. And to get this um, notification of how many trists are in my course. Um, yeah, uh, sorry, I can't help you there. So we have we have our Suzanne's, our blender monkeys, Suzanne's, and we're going to maybe assign a texture to that. So we go shading, we go new, and we go shift A, S, image texture, enter OK, open, and let's go to the same place, sand course, and maybe let's take this one, or let's just take this one, sure, why not? And open image, and color to color, and now this, we have, we have our texture applied to our object. If we wanted to change how this object looks, we, or how the texture is applied to the object, you can hit tab, or we can go to the UV editing space, we can hit tab, a to select everything, or tab to go into edit mode, which you can just change here, or tab to switch between them. And then you can hit U to unwrap, and then you can have a cube projection, um, you can have cylinder projection, you can have sphere projections, uh, smart UV project, um, and follow active quads are the main ones, um, which, uh, Follow active quads requires a specific way of doing that. Um, right now, this really doesn't matter, um, but for a texture that did matter, that would be how you do it. If you ever wanted to rotate things, you can rotate in the editor here, and it's moving it on the right. And then uh, let's add a similar texture here. So go to the material properties, and then you can add our material 002, which is our sand. And maybe let's, uh, that's all I want to do. Um, I, there are definitely more things to be covered. Um, and yeah, it's, there, there, there are more things to be covered, yet there is a lot of Blender also to be covered. Um, so, Here's how you add a curve. Here's how you add a texture to that curve. Here's how you add objects. And um, yeah, let's let's now make this into a track. So um, one thing to note is that Mario Kart Wii only reads um, files. Or let's let's hit this drop down arrow face orientation. So these are normals. So Mario Kart Wii doesn't read any files any textures in red. So the whole underside of our track will not be seen. This is fine for our track, but note if say uh, alt uh, tab a alt n flip, if we had something like this, we then our whole Suzanne monkey you couldn't see in Blender in game. So you, uh, you have to go into tab to edit mode, select everything using A, Alt, N, and flip. Or you can recalculate, uh, Alt, N, recalculate inside, or recalculate outside, depending on, depending on what's your preference. And then you can go up here and hit face orientation again. Um, yeah, let's, I think, let's now make this into a track. So uh, first thing, uh, everything needs to be separated by material. So uh, we're going to select everything. Control J to join, and this might crash my blender. It crashed my blender. And did I make a backup? Absolutely not. I didn't save it in the first place. So there's all our hard work gone. Probably. Either way, I'll run through the steps again, and you can see what I'm doing. 
um, though I won't go into detail. Here's my hide and seek track. Here's the KCL, the collision for that. Here's Bob. Bob, that's a good, that's a good name. So select everything, X to delete. Uh, and this is why you save your files. Um, but I, uh, yes, <laughs> you, you save your files. Uh, e to extrude, R to rotate, 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 E to extrude, R, E, F to fill. And I don't like that thing there, so I can just control X. Uh, except I kind of did like that, but that's fine. Um, I could also, I think you can add something through here. Um, selecting both of these, you can add, there's some key shortcut, but I don't know it. So, sorry, I can't help you there. So, GZ, maybe GZ, and GZ, and now let's tilt, all right, let's add our plane. We have our dogs barking in the background. Um, so let's add our plane. Let's uh, control R, add some loop cuts. I'm glad that my computer crashed so we can go through this process again. Um, array, bump up the array, curve, uh, blunt Bezier curve, and let's get this as close as possible. And that's cool. And then we uh, apply our modifiers. Oop, don't do that, control Z. Don't apply a shape key. And uh, M to merge at center. And select select this, select this, M to merge at center. And oh, I did a bad thing. So I forgot to uh, hit, hit merge on that curve option. So now if you note, we have some weird, like they're not really connected to each other. So if I hit A and then merge and by distance, it removed 80 vertices. So now when I click on this, it should act. Oh God, uh, that's that's not how it should be acting. Maybe, maybe it is. Maybe it is, let's try. So I want to texture this. And if I did it correctly, it should shade nicely. Um, but if it goes wrong, I, sh I should just control Z back, but I don't want to. Image, texture, open. Let's go to our sand course. Let's add this, open image, base color, and it seems to have worked. So that's cool. Um, and then uh, let's see, what do we want to do? Uh, so we have our we have our course here. We have uh, our normals are correct. Let's add some decoration around here. So we could add maybe a torus. And we could make it more low poly by decreasing the amount of segments here. Um, and let's just start shifty, 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 and shift A. And let's add a monkey, scale S to scale, RZ to rotate, on GX to move on the X direction. And that's cool. Um, let's add some textures to these. Go over to the material tab. New, we can call this sand. Um, we could also uh, rename it here. So decor for just naming purposes. Uh, and you can click this and hit image texture, uh, image texture and open. Or you can go to the shading tab. Both are valid options. Sand course, uh, sand, sure. And I believe this is enabled by default, but let's see, shift Q, assign material, and we can assign it sand. Yeah, that if it doesn't work by default, then it's an add-on, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, some material assigner, maybe. Uh, R, I'm just, R, maybe let's scale it, scale, uh, scale on the X direction. Rx and scale really large and GZ. And so one thing to note is that our track right now is not properly scaled. Oh, let's not delete our, there we go, delete our curve. 
now that we've applied the modifiers. So our track right now is not properly scaled and it is above or it is at y equals zero. So Mario Kart Wii, anything below y equals zero is death. So let's just take everything, hitting A to select everything, GZ to move it all above uh, this death plane. And then we can go N to bring up this, uh, N for Nelly to bring up this, this panel here. And we can go, sorry, excuse me, view 50,000 and our clip start at eight. And then a, we'll scale everything up by let's say a thousand except we still don't know really is this road wide enough how wide is it so you can go tab into edit mode you can select this ob this here by going into uh, vertex selection edit selection rather and this is number pad two uh, number pad three for face select um, a number pad one for vertex select and two for edge select so you can select this and the measure it tools which i believe is an add-on um, which there are tutorials on how to do add-ons in blender but segment and show and so right now our road is 2000 meters wide we want it to be about 3000 meters wide um, is a good baseline um, 3000 sure um, and so yeah, we have a track, our normals. Oh yeah, let's save it, control S. Um, let's make a new folder, new folder. Let's call it sand tutorial, tutorial. That sounds good, save. And let's call it course. It doesn't matter what you call it, the blend file specifically. And then we have, we need to separate everything by material. Let me control S again, A, control J to join, and then A, tab A, P to separate by material. And now our road is its own selected object. Right click to cancel the movement. Our sand is our own object. Okay, cool. Control S to save. And now I think we're ready, maybe, hopefully. So it's above Y equals zero, um, maybe. Is it above? Let me just just really make sure it's above y equals zero. I've had too many problems with that in the past and it's kind of painful to fix. So now we have everything separated by material. Each material has its own texture reference. And now let's file export as an FBX. Uh, we just want the mesh to be and we want our scaling as FBX all. And there might be some more options if you get some weird errors. Um, I know someone else has, and then you just have to go through and figure out what each of these, each of these are. But this this works as per normal. And then uh, one thing you need from the wiki is um, let's see, you can search brawl box maybe. And let's go BRRES, which is what we're going to be making now. And so we specifically need this Autodesk FBX Converter 2013.3 specifically. Why that? I don't know. It's hilarious that it's that specific. Um, but we need to convert it from an FBX to a DAE. So uh, here's my wonderful background of uh, Bowser's Castle, which I made. Um, as you can see, it, it lacks the, the same the same quality as the original anyways so we add our fbx hopefully i didn't mess things up um i'm just thinking now i don't think i have so sand tutorial our course.fbx and our dae change it from fbx to dae convert okay cool and now we're going to open up brawl crate or brawl box either one will work brawl crate is the newer version so i recommend brawl crate it's it just works better file new archives brres resource pack and import models and let's go to uh, our blender projects custom tracks our sand tutorial 
our DAE, and it needs to be these specific settings. Once you say hit OK once, it will save it like that for future reference. So just set it like this, and then you're good. And then a, your uh, this should be renamed as course all the time. Always make sure this is course. You don't get any error warnings for it when you're checking. And it's, it's just a very easy step to forget in the process. So here's our materials. We have sand and material 0.001 with our, the texture references. Right now, we have the UVs, but we don't actually see anything like it's just white here. And this is because we haven't imported our textures. So we're going to go here and right click, import textures, custom tracks. All right, so normally you'd have the textures in the same file as like your sand tutorial where you're referencing them. Now I need to find where they are, um, which is why you should really have your textures where they're actually supposed to be referenced. And when you're moving texture references around in the Blender file, they can get destroyed. The UVs are still there, but then your materials become pink or black because they're not linked and it's really painful. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I've just stolen everything from this course. So I know that it refers to this and to that. However, for your tracks in the future, have a textures folder and just reference everything in there in your, in your track folder. So now when we're importing textures here, um, I don't know a, a lot about these format stuff. Um, I have everything as CMPR if they're solid. Um, I don't know if that's the best way to do that, but that's the way that works for me. And these shouldn't be powers of two. If they're not, you can unclick constrained por pr proportions, change it here, and then hit apply. Um, that's cool. And then this, let's also make it CMPR, and it's a power of two. Okay, if it's not a power of two, it's not going to cause crashes. I don't think so, but it will look horrid in game. So now, if we go sand, you can see it, it has its UVs to this sand texture and the UVs to this sand texture. And so we have our materials linked to our textures. One thing we need to do is all of these settings here, all of these settings, these aren't correct um, by default. So what we have to do er, is you have to go and you have to change this light set index. This is on the wiki specifically as well. And it is, uh, here are the material settings that you need to have correct. For solid objects, you need to, oh, let's go to Brawl Create. You, for every object, you have to set light set index to negative one. Then for solid objects, you need to compare before texture from false to true. And then false to true, and then change it to negative one here. And uh, there is a um, material uh, fixer on the wiki. Let's see. Developed by Coffee Toffee. Let's see. Is it on their homepage? Um, it's not on here, but you can search uh, maybe Brawl Crate Material. Brawl Crate Material Fixer. And this is, uh, it has a tutorial about it here. And this is very useful when creating uh, custom tracks. You need to have Auto Hotkey installed. Um, for those textures, those are good. One thing we want to change, shaders. Uh, stage zero, and then change this from uh, multiply by four to multiply by two. Otherwise, your course is going to end up looking way too bright. And this is how you change the overall colors here. Um, some people suggest multiply by one and just have really good lighting. Uh, multiplied by two is a bit bright, but it's not dark um, is, is the main thing. And when you're not doing a lot of light, light mapping stuff, uh, this this works in a pinch, or not in a pinch, just in most cases. Um, though it might not be ideal. Um, so 
this is named course. We have our materials reference to objects. If you have more textures in here, then you have materials or vice versa, the game will crash. So let's uh, let's save our uh, BRS and hope that it works. Um, so, no, nope, wrong tutorial. And uh, course model. Cool. So now let's go into no clip. So no clip dot website website and the nice thing about this site is you can just take your uh, let's see let's go to our send tutorial and we can take our brs file just drag and drop and see if it loads a no clip and we can camera speed by scrolling and WAS w a s and d um, Here's our here's our track, um, and yeah, we we can view our track in game. That's cool. So now our course model is done. So let's I uh, there's there's much more stuff with uh, roll roll crate that can be done, but that's the basics. So we go uh, let's save a copy and let's call this as KCL. And let's open that KCL uh, file opened KCL. And so now we want we want our road. We're going to we're on our specific KCL, KCL blend file. We're going to remove this texture reference. We're going to create a new one. We're going to rename this to 00 underscore 000. And we can make this a light light shades we know it's different and so why did we name it zero zero and zero 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 well I uh, let's go KCL flex so I uh, here we have different types so if we wanted slippery road for our track what we do and we wanted slippery road and we wanted it to be yellow sand, we'd have slipper road is 0, 01. So we'd go to Blender and we'd go to 0, 01. And then our variant, our variant that we wanted was yellow sand, which was 5. And so we'd go over here and we'd do 0, 0, 005. If we wanted it to be trickable, we'd take this first and change it from a 0 to a 01, but we don't want it to be slippery or we don't want it to be jump. So this is the default road, and let's let's actually look at some variants. So we want road, and we want it to be maybe dirt, no uh, ground effects, ground G effects. Is that ground effects? I don't know. Um, and oh, uh, blender, and so we want it to be zero zero, which is our road. We don't want it to be trickle, so it's zero, and then its uh, variant is zero one. So we now have our road with uh, sand, and then this we're going to, you can go tab, and then you can select these, shift to select more, uh, and you can go into face mode, sorry, and shift select, shift select, and you can then P by selection to get these as different. Um, if we want them to be, I don't know, let's, well, let's make this a different. Uh, different KCL reference. So we're going to remove this texture, add a new one. We're going to call the let's let's look at what type of thing we want it to be. Maybe we want it to be a maybe we want it to be a boost ramp. Zero seven zero zero zero. So let's go here. Let's rename it to zero seven underscore zero zero zero, which is two flip trick ramps is the variant. And we don't want it. You don't want your uh, trick ramps to be trickable, or <laughs> you don't want your trick ramps to be trickable. You don't want your flip trick ramps to also be trickable because then it gives you weird properties. So let's also make it red just so you can distinguish it here. And then let's make everything over here as wall KCL. So if you drive along and you run into this, you want to actually hit it as a wall. So what we're going to do is we're going to everything, the rest is just sand. 
So we can get away with just changing everything here to wall and remove our texture reference here. Um, shading, and you have to delete this by selecting that and hitting X. And we can maybe make our base color uh, blue. Why can't you see your course model here? Because if you bring up N and your view, you can see our clip N distance is still too small. It's a whole separate window. So we need to then change things here and then it, it goes there. So we now have our wall. Um, and why did I know it was zero C? Because this has told me it's zero C. There are, uh, and we just want it normal wall. You could make it as zero underscore zero C underscore zero zero one would be rock wall, so on and so forth. So we have we have our KCL, save that. And now there are KCLs, or sorry, KCLs can get can get sort of corrupted, or not corrupted, but they cannot be as good as they were if you export it as an OBJ. However, I've not had too many problems with this. So if this OBJ method doesn't work, you can do the FBX, uh, convert Blender, export Blender to FBX, and then you can do FBX to OBJ through a different program. But the base OBJ um, exporter works fine. So X, you want to check material groups, and then you want to check triangulate faces. Sorry, excuse me, and export OBJ. So now we have an OBJ of our, um, of our KCL, and it shows up OBJ of our KCL here. Now we need to convert this OBJ to a KCL file. And um, conveniently, if you have WIMS SCS tools here, you can go in bin and you can just, uh, oops, paste it here your KCL, and you can take this OBJ to KCL batch, double click on it to run. And we wait for it to run, and it's run. So it, specifically, your OBJ has to be called KCL for that to work. So now we take our um, take these files, control X, but you don't need to control X, but um, they just can't be there um, when you run it again. So let's go to our sand tutorial, control V, replace our OBJ, it doesn't really matter. And so our this is our normal KCL, and this is our KCL without the bean corners, so you always want to use this. I have no idea what that one is, but I never use it. So let's call this course because that's what Mario Kart Wii needs to read. So now we have our course model, uh, we have our collision, and you could test this in game, except we don't actually have a correct starting point. And so without a starting point, you don't know, like you're probably not going to spawn on the track. So what we need from this is we need a Nintendo course, and we need to uh, you bring up the command prompt, WSC ST X all and drag in beginner course or some SCS model. So that way you can have this with all of its stuff and you can uh, then uh, maybe copy and paste it into your main track. And then you can replace, replace the stuff one by one. So we replaced our course model from our old SCS. We replaced our collision from our old SCS. So now this has the KMP of the of the old file, the map model of the old file, and the uh, skybox of the old file. So uh, our main thing is, so there are some KMP editors. So there is KMP Cloud, which is currently my default, which Billy Noodles has a good has a great custom track tutorial using KMP Cloud. Um, however, this this is a bit out of date, and so you can view background import OBJ, browse and find your I. Uh, let's see, find your your OBJ file, and you can change colors around here. 
and you can change colors around it there, import, view, and then you can see uh, you know, your track. That's cool, but that's not the um, thing we're going to be using, though both do work, and I do use um, KMP Cloud sometimes um, for, let's say, checkpoints. Um, but I bring up Lorenzi's file open, and we want to navigate to our correct correct one, tutorial, and our KMP. And so now it just automatically recognizes this is road, this is wall, this is a flip trick ramp. So let's add our starting point about here, starting points, and it automatically brings that up. And you edit the rotations in here. So let's say maybe 50, or let's say 250, 230, 200, no, 290, uh, 280. There we go. That's good. Um, and it uh, also just nicely puts it on, um, which is why Lorenzi's is superior. Enemy paths. Uh, yeah, let's let's do those. Select all. Delete selected. And our starting point was somewhere about here. Alt click. Alt click. Alt click and drag. Alt click and drag. Uh, I'll click and drag. And we just go around dragging these. If you had the other one, you'd have to go around doing magic Y, which requires some Python thing to be had and is just painful. This just automatically nicely puts it on top. Um, yeah, so for item paths, I want them to be the same as enemy paths. And I don't know how if I can just copy and paste these in the Renzi's. So I'm going to do that in KMP Cloud um, checkpoint. Okay, this is me from the future. I made my checkpoints in Lorenzi's. However, I, this has been giving me some problems and I don't really know how to do them correctly. So instead, I'm going to be making my checkpoints in KMP Cloud. Um, so through KMP Cloud, I already have this set up. Um, wow, it's not going to load. Okay, so here we are. Um, a, we, we can hit this drop down arrow. We can go over to checkpoints. And these are my checkpoints. I hit this view panel to see here. And then view, background, import OBJ, browse. Um, let's see, this is our sand tutorial. Here's our kcl.obj. We can change the color values here, and let's or let's make this make this ff 0 0 0 0 um, 0 0 ff 0 0 and maybe 0 0 0 0 ff import. And I like to enable transparency, so we can see here. I zoom in here. Here's our ring in the background. Wall is blue. Our road is right now represented as red, and here's our trickable um, stuff. So here's our checkpoints. It doesn't like it, so let's just go here and uh, delete. Uh, well, the first thing is I'm not actually... Uh, where's our start position? That would be helpful to know. So right here. Um, and so this is why it's nice to have like a fence post uh, or finish poles around your start line. So that way it's easy to tell when you're just looking at it in the KMP view where exactly things are. You can always make your checkpoints in KMP Cloud and then go over to Lorenzi's to edit the positions. But for whatever reason, the linking um, of checkpoints works best. In so we're gonna click on this group after I've clicked down this checkpoints. I'm going to delete, yes, okay. And I'm going to add. And in this group zero, I'm now going to Alt, click, and drag to create the checkpoint. Alt, click, drag. And the more checkpoints, the merrier. Um, the checkpoints, as long as they count laps, then I don't really have much of a problem with them. But obviously, if you're really seriously, then you'd actually want to check out proper ways to make checkpoints beyond just dragging them across and call it good. So enter to finish your selection. Now we want to go in properties of this group zero, 
set this first checkpoint that we made to a lap counter. So key zero. And then for good, we need, uh, let's put two other key checkpoints so we don't have any ultras. So one enter and maybe here to enter. If you have too few checkpoints between key checkpoints, then it, uh, supposedly your course can crash. So here it's now represented in blue for the checkpoints. Um, so here is our here is our lap counter. Here's our first key checkpoint. Here's our second key checkpoint. And uh, you must, you can't just hit X. All your progress will be deleted. You must hit save in order for your changes to apply. And then uh, we can go back to the main, um, which I had recorded beforehand. Note, however, that the checkpoints will will work. Uh, well, they will work for your course, hopefully, but they won't work for the for the previous recording that I've made. And respawn points will let a program deal with that so that it correctly links stuff together. And then we will ch check it back here. Our objects, I, let's select all and delete selected. So let's start adding some item boxes, maybe. That might be a good idea. So let's add, let's add some item boxes. Let's add maybe a flip trick, the Moo Moo Meadows flip trick ramp here. And let's add some fire. Because why not? Who doesn't love a good fire object? Um, Uh, let's let's not add that. Uh, just X to delete. Um, so we have some fire. We have some item boxes, and this is a perfect track. So now let's let's go. So I know item boxes are ID 101 uh, item box, and if you're ever unsure, there's a KMP object query found at this website that you can search up item box. And it will tell you it is ID 101. And it gives you some settings as well. And then you can see, oh, here are moving item boxes with different routes. Um, and I won't go into routes, but I don't think they're that hard to pick up. Um, so let's just ID 101. So now we want fire here. Uh, well, let's. So now we want fire here. So let's let's search up here. Let's maybe go torch. And flame of the torches from DK Jungle Parkway and Bowser's Castle. So you need these two different files, which are in the effect folder. So first off, our ID is 703. So let's fill in that first. So. 703 and so KMP uh, cloud is also better at adding objects so that way you don't have to go through and change this ID every single time 703 and 703 and 703 and so I think everything here is 703 um, yeah okay Cool. So now we have some item boxes, we have some fire, we have our track, we have our checkpoints. We just need our item item routes to work. So I'm going to save this, control S. Oh, that didn't work. File, save. Okay. Yep. And then we're going to go into here, into our beginner course, KMP, open it with KMP cloud, file, item routes, or we want our enemy routes. We want to copy this group. We're going to delete our old item route, and we're going to paste add group our new item route. And I get that all the time. So now our item routes and enemy routes are the same. So we always need to file save it control S. I don't know if it works, but when you close the application, it does not automatically save, which sucks. Um, you can edit cameras here, which I have no idea how to do. Um, also some Canon stuff, which I haven't actually done a Canon before, so I haven't actually needed to learn it before. Um, so we have our KMP file, but we need the response. So we're going to uh, control X or control C, doesn't matter. And in this program zip folder, 
we have scalings auto respawn and you just paste in here hit the execute and we now have auto respawns or respawns done automatically we're going to put it back in our and here and we're going to open it with Lorenzi's again to see if it did work so file open our beginner course KMP and we're going to look at our respawn points and they are all on the track with exception to these which are now pointing the wrong way as well um, they went on this with this torus down here so I'm just going to edit some rotations quickly uh, let's say maybe 50 no nope, wrong way negative 50 uh, negative 30 uh, negative 20 yeah and that looks like a 90 that's good enough and maybe negative 110 yeah that's good enough okay so we have some respawns so let's file save that and now we have ah this is good so we have our course model we have an we have our item box dot brres we need that in order for the game to work um uh, we have our map model which is needed our vr corn um but we don't have the fire effects so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our bowser's castle so let me just create a new file explorer instance custom tracks and i happen to have made bowser's castle but just take bowser's castle take the scs uh, wscst xall and then go here effect and just copy this taimatsu and i uh, paste it into the effect folder of your course um, which has the taimatsu object which references those effects so now we have and these i uh, these are not needed the post effects are not needed as well so i'm just going to get rid of those don't need it and let's now make a track um, so cmd wscst wscst oh wscst create is the command for creating the track once you've made your brres your uh, kcl and your kmp which are all in this uh, beginner course dot d uh, folder and now we're, we have our scs file and so we're going to just check first off did i do anything really stupid which is hopefully not the case so we have uh we have like a bajillion position bugs okay um that's not game crashing and uh we have some unknown files that's cool and cool so i'm going to you can drag and drop this into no clip to see if our skybox works yes it does we have our item boxes here we have our uh, item boxes here and i don't think our fire loaded um i don't think our fire does load in no clip so i think we're good there um so let's now try test this all right this is me from the future um it turns out that my Recording of the gameplay, uh, my capture card really didn't like my computer, so I was getting two frames per second. Um, but the it all worked for me, um, and so hopefully it works for you. I uh, my Discord link is below in the comments. I left some more links as well, uh, and ask me if, with any questions. And good luck on your track.